the plankton and algae and crabs and fish living in the world's oceans. A new analysis now by the Smithsonian Environmental Research Center shows that the ocean is losing that oxygen at an alarming rate and that the number and severity of suffocating ocean dead zones is increasing. Denise Breitberg is senior scientist at the Smithsonian Environmental Research Center. What we found by pulling together people who work all over the world and uh, on different topics is really the magnitude of the problem. Oxygen concentrations are declining both in the open ocean and along the coasts. What causes that uh, decline in oxygen? There's different causes in different places, but the two major ones are in coastal waters. We have too much nutrients coming off the land from sewage and from agriculture. And then globally, especially in the open oceans, climate change and global warming is what's really causing the loss of oxygen. What do these deoxygenated zones, these dead zones, look like to a marine biologist? Uh, if you were to go to one of these zones and, and put on your scuba gear, would you notice a difference? You would definitely notice a difference. Uh, and maybe the easiest analogy is to think of a desert up on land. If these were happening where we could see them, we would really be appalled. Where oxygen is really low, marine life just can't thrive. Um, oxygen is fundamental to life in the oceans. And there are microbes and there are some organisms that are adapted to extremely low oxygen concentrations. But many of the animals that we think of, fish and sea urchins and...